After four months and a bit of waffling by the RCMP, Canadians will finally get to see the video left behind by the man who carried out the Parliament Hill attacks. The head of the RCMP will appear before the Public Safety Committee Friday and show the video. Our senior correspondent Terry Malefsky can tell you tonight part of what you will see. Terry. Well, Peter, it's been more than four months since the attack on Parliament Hill, and we're finally going to see the gunman's own account. CBC News has learned that it's a short cell phone video, a selfie less than one minute long, saying he's attacking Parliament because Canadian forces are in Muslim countries. From the moment the shooting began, it's been clear that police were dealing with a complicated case. A lone wolf gunman with mental health issues who also identified with Muslim grievances against the West. Michael Zahaf Bibo was a devout Muslim. He prayed five times a day and was angry about Canada's role in Afghanistan. At a mining job in Squamish, B.C., he was often seen in Arab robes and showed Taliban videos on his cell phone. But he also had a long-standing problem with crack cocaine. We now have a video he made describing his ideological and political motives. So what were those motives? From the start, the RCMP said Zahaf Bibo was interested in jihad. He was uh, quite deliberate, he was quite lucid, and he was quite purposeful in articulating uh, the, the basis for his actions. And they were uh, in respect broadly to uh, Canada's foreign policy and uh, also in respect of his uh, religious beliefs. The commissioner promised to release the video soon, but then wavered before finally agreeing to play it publicly in a parliamentary hearing on Friday. The video does mention Allah. And we've also learned the Prime Minister was briefed on its contents. And he's not wavering in his conviction that this was a case of terrorism. I have not seen the video, uh, but I think uh, Canadians are uh, well aware, not just because of the October 22nd attacks, but because of what they can see around the world, that uh, unfortunately the threat of uh, terrorism, violent jihadism, is uh, very real. So why did it take so long to release the video? To date, the reason given is that investigators wanted to see if anyone else was involved. We want to be able to satisfy ourselves whether or not there were individuals who were contributing to this person's radicalization and his, uh, his jihadist views. Since then, it has emerged that Zahaf Bibo probably was a loner, and sources who knew him have told CBC News that he did indeed have jihadist views. Now it seems his final cell phone video is going to confirm that, and the Ottawa Citizen is reporting tonight that he filmed it just moments before the attack in his car and then left the phone on the front seat. Peter. All right, Terry, thank you. Terry Molesky in Ottawa tonight.